Every time I go back to Naples, this is one of the things I must immediately taste. Small and fluffy brioche buns, stuffed with cream and ricotta cheese. How delicious! I'll show you how to make the snowflakes. Let's start! Let's start right away with the dough. I dissolve the yeast in milk. This is fresh yeast, but if you prefer you can also use dehydrated yeast. The ratio is about 1 gram of dry yeast every 3.5 grams of fresh yeast. With a fork I begin to dilute it well on the milk, which is at room temperature. The yeast is melted, flour in the planetary, Italian dablo flour, and then Manitoba flour. I also add sugar, vanilla seeds, and finally milk. In goes the hook and let it work at medium low speed for a couple of minutes. The dough has been mixed and now I can add to the butter, also at room temperature, one piece at a time. The dough is again mixed. It's time to add the salt, after which I will leave it to work for five minutes. Here's the dough ready. I sprinkle the counter with the flour, a little more flour on my fingers and then remove it. Let's round it. Here it is ready. I transfer it in a bowl, cover it with a clean film, and now leave the dough to leaven at room temperature about 25-26 degrees for an hour and a half. It will not double its volume, but will only grow a little bit. The dough is now leavened so I can form small balls. I'm going to rip 28 pieces of about uh, 30 grams each, and then they'll have to be rounded. I'll show you how it's done. You can work on the counter, or if you prefer with your hands, the result will be the same. And gradually place them on the baking tray that I have already lined with the cooking paper. I calculate that on this plate here there will be about 16. And now the spheres are ready to rise again for about an hour and a half at 25-26 degrees, covered with film. In the meantime, I can prepare the cream. Actually, there are two creams that we have to prepare. The one with the ricotta and the one with milk. And we start with the ricotta. Then the ice and sugar. And the lemon zest. A nice whisk. And we mix everything. It's time to add to the whipped cream. I will do it twice. First, we'll serve to dilute. And the second to lighten. Gently, with movements from the bottom to the top. Cover with clean film, let it rest in the fridge. Now let's take care of the milk cream, saucepan on the stove and in the milk. I start at medium low temperature, so I let it warm. I also add sugar. Then, with the help of whisk to make it melt, I can add honey, vanilla seeds. Keep stirring without bringing it to a boil, after which I will add the cornstarch. Stir continuously so it won't form any lumps. And at this point, our cream must cook for a few minutes or until it thickens. Cream ready. Turn off and transfer immediately in a low and white bowl. Now I cover it with plastic wrap, let it cool, first at room temperature and then in the fridge. The creams are well cooled. 
Now it's time to add them together. I give a quick stir into the milk and then I add it to the ricotta. We mix from the bottom to the top. I cover with the film and leave in the fridge until it's time to use it. The brioche buns are finally leavened. It's time to brush them with egg yolk and milk. Use only a little liquid, otherwise you'll get the pancake effect at the bottom of our snowflakes. The buns end up in the oven already hot at 180 degrees for about 18 minutes. Our buns are finally cooked. Now they're warm, so it's time to pierce them with a narrow and long nozzle and fill them with the cream that I've already transferred in a pastry bag. And so on with all the others. Last touch, powdered sugar. The texture is practically perfect. Soft as good as... I can't even describe it. Do you know what is missing? A nice walk through Via Toledo, passing the plebiscite and arriving to the sea. Ah, this recipe made you nostalgic. Cook it yourself, then let me know.